This is Saturday Night's All Right for Podcasting from Radio Elton John for Elton John World. I'm your host, George Matlock. Tonight's show is something of a three-way love affair. Yes, I know it's a great track from Elton recorded for the Tom Bell Sessions, but we have a different kind of sessions going on here of Olympic proportions. For this, we need three special guests to make light of my work, names to follow. As oral connoisseurs know, Elton recorded a bunch of tracks at a recording studios in Barnes, southwest London, in 1969. Olympic Studios ended recording with some band called uh, U2 back in 2009, and since then has become a blossoming cinema. A recent visit to the venue spawned some great photo opportunities, and you can view those in a just-published report on our sister website, eltonjohn.world. But also, uh, it led to a fab discovery. Olympic Studios is set to rise Phoenix style again. That's right. Indeed, this year, in fact, we will be asking one of our guests who knows best more about that tonight. So let's have a big hand for our special guests. Make that a roar this time, please. Not that wimp clap you always give us. Do what Terry Carty did on the album 171170. Oh yes, tonight we have Roger Miles. Now, he's an archivist with Olympic Cinema and wait for it, wait for it, also a record store manager. We'll be hearing about that in the, tonight's programme. We also have Elton fan Peter Lewis. Who no doubt broke cons- uh, is a broke consumer of, uh, after spending his whole uh, life savings on Elton stuff. And uh, also a man who was actually at Olympic Studios in 1969, would you believe? We have, wait for it, wait for it, we have record engineer Stuart Epps. Right, thank you. Settle down, everybody. Thank you so much for that. Okay, now, uh, gentlemen, there you all are. Um, So, uh, welcome to Radio Elton John. Lovely to have you on the show. Can you all hear us okay? Yes. Yeah. Fabulous. Somebody's uh, very in the distance. I think that might be Paul. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, that's better. He's coming coming back. He's coming back. You you introduced Paul as Peter. Did I? You did. You did, I'm afraid. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Do you know why? Because there's a Peter that features in tonight's programme. Paul Lewis. Welcome, welcome. And sorry about that, Gaff. Anyway, it's live radio, so we're not going to change it. What you see is what you get. Sure. OK, so let's start with, uh, first of all, with 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 you, uh, uh, Paul. We might as well. So tell us a bit about you. You're an Elton John fan, right? I am an Elton John fan from way back in the 1970s. Yep. One of the first albums I bought was an Elton album. The first gig I ever went to was an Elton gig. The Louder Than Concord tour at Ells Court, to be precise. Um, mm. And uh, yes, I've been a fan ever since. So that's about 1975, is it, since, since then? 75 or 76, yeah, it was yeah. At that time. It was Rock of the Westies was the album they were touring. Yeah, fabulous yeah. album, fabulous album. Yeah. Of course, recorded at Caribou, which has been the feature yeah. of one of our recent episodes here as well at Radio Elton John. OK, fabulous. Well, welcome to the show. It's lovely to have you on board. Um, and uh, next up, if I could ask, please, Roger Miles. Now, tell us a bit about what you do. Uh, so I'm an archi- archivist at the Olympic Studios. Um, I'm also an artist. I was an accountant. Um, but uh, for the last six years, I've been running the record shop Olympic Studios Records, um, which is funded by the Olympic and run by volunteers. Right, and that's just literally over across the road from the actual cinema itself, Olympic Cinema in, in Barnes. Studios, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, studios well as well. So yeah, now we want to talk a little bit later about this fabulous news about the uh, the resurrection of the of the studios. Um, but before we do all of that, I need to bring in our third guest, which is of course Stuart Stuart Epps. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good afternoon. It's great to have you back. Gosh, I can't believe it's a year nearly since we last interviewed you. Where did it go? Where did it go? How have you been, Anne? You've been busy in the last year? I'm extremely busy working with lots of new artists. Um, We'd love to offer you the full interview. And you can hear it all. Uh, Visit Elton John World or go straight to our launch pad at radioeltonjohn.world. Radio Elton John now reaches 90 countries and the list is growing. We welcome Elton fans from the USA, Europe, Australia, Brazil, Africa, South Korea, India, Ukraine, Thailand, Egypt, Taiwan, Hong Kong and many others. Elton's world is a big world. Subscribe today from eltonjohn.world.